Hi, so I, on the last video, apparently forgot to include a little portion about the ASRock uh, LED software for AMD's RGB cooler, the Rate Spire. So I'm just going to show a little bit of that functionality right now. Um, so the program's called ASRock RGB LED. Uh, it's included in the download section of their website. And I believe it's the same software across all of their boards, their B350 boards, I would assume, and their X370s. Uh, so we're going to show a little bit of that right now. So uh, this is what the software looks like. I should have a picture of your motherboard on the left side there. And it has a color wheel. In the center you can choose more specific colors. And then also you have sliders here to get uh, a more generic color choice if you want. Um, you have an on-off switch. You'll turn the, the RGB cooler light off or on. Uh, there's a little selector here too also because this motherboard has technically it has two headers um, one is for the connection of the cooler and then the other one is for uh, any other RGB strip that uses the four pin power and I've tested functionality with a uh, strip from Fantex and also one from my system that I'm using now the Airgoo and both of them seem to to work uh, it's a little bit different because the wiring is not exactly the same as the cooler as far as like in order of uh, RGB it's like BRG or something like that so um, the colors that show up on the software don't exactly coincide to what you see so it is a bit harder to find the exact color that you want but it is doable so you can switch between apply all or just apply to the header itself, the secondary header. There isn't one specifically for the primary header because it's supposed to be reserved for the cooler, so I'm not sure if you weren't going to use it, if you could somehow um, select color just for that one instead, like if you're going to use that for um, another LED strip or something else instead of the primary RGB cooler for the Wraith Spire. Um, so anyway, uh, then moving along, there's some settings here that change uh, just static color or there's uh, breathing, strobe, cycling, so random um, wave and then music which is directly relatable to the audio output of your board so whatever you're playing on your computer whether it be music or sound from game or whatnot um, the lights gonna react to that so um, Move the camera over here a bit, and fortunately my desk is quite far from where I, I have my computer at, so I'll try to see if you can see both of this at the same time. Actually, let's change something here and then we'll show the effect of it. So, uh, for instance, turn it to breathing, so now you can see the RGB header will kind of slowly fade it in and out. And uh, you can also change the speed of these settings and whatnot. So we'll turn it back to static and then change it to a different color. So uh, let's try let's try red. So the way the way you do that is you just you just select here in the center and you can change the main color and then the center you can kind of tweak that so for instance uh, so this would be like a pinkish red um, and let's turn this down to there we go so there's let me turn uh, my main LEDs off so you can see the color a bit better here so there's blue, red, green, and yellow, kind of a light blue, and pink. And so of course from there you can you can tweak the exact color that you're looking for. Um, So that's pretty much 
it for the board uh, and its its capabilities with color. Like it, it does show down here, so you have one one connection for secondary and then your primary right here. Uh, it's not the best software, but it does the job. Um, and it is, I will mention, if you are looking to get white out of it, uh, and actually all the colors in particular are not exactly show up exactly what, what it looks like here. Um, so the demo right here is, is always a little bit off from what it shows. So for instance, uh, it shows just a really, really flat green, but in reality, uh, it's more of it's more of a teal than it is uh, green here. So be aware of that if you are searching for colors. It does take a little bit longer to find the exact color that you're looking for. Um, but other than that, it seems seems to work decently well. Um, but yeah, so that's the ASRock RGB LED software for uh, the B350s, the AB350, the Pro 4, um, and I'm assuming it's the same software for the other boards too. And it should it should detect here, you know, what board you have. So that's the one I have, the Pro. So uh, thanks, and we'll see you next time.